Preparedness isn't about living in fear. It's about developing skills and habits that can make you more resilient to whatever comes our way. Being prepared involves not only having supplies and a plan, but also staying informed about potential risk. The key is to be ready to adapt and respond to a variety of different scenarios while maintaining a normal routine as much as possible. Hello everyone, today here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, we're going to discuss something essential preparedness with increasing global challenges. It's never been more important to prepare for a variety of different scenarios that could disrupt our everyday lives. So let's dive into the top 20 things we should prepare for based on historical and current global trends. Number one, climate change and extreme weather events. Global temperatures are on the rise, causing more frequent and intense natural disasters worldwide. Prepare by understanding your regional climate risk, reinforcing your home, and keeping an emergency kit stocked with essentials ready to go. Pandemics take the second spot. As we have learned from the COVID-19 global health crisis can disrupt everyday life significantly. Maintain good hygiene, keep a store of food, water, and essential medications, and prioritize mental health during these isolating times that we have been through. At number three, economic crisis. Job loss and financial instability can follow economic downturns. You should have a financial safety net and learn survival skills can increase self-reliance in a time of economic crisis. Fourth, we're looking at the good old cyber attacks. Our digital world is under constant threat from the cyber criminals that are out there. Update your software regularly, use unique, strong passwords, and keep physical or offline backup of essential documents, as in external hard drives, thumb drives, any of these type of things. You want to make sure everything is backed up in case you are part of an attack. Terrorism and civil unrest come in at number five in a violent world that we do live in. Situational awareness and an emergency plan and basic first aid knowledge are all key for personal safety. Always keep your eyes moving and pay attention to what is going on around you and your family. Our sixth point is nuclear accidents or attacks. While basically unlikely, preparation does include understanding how to shelter in place, knowing the nearest fallout shelters, if you can find some, and having a stock of different types of medicine so that if something did happen, you could treat yourself in a time of need. Next, food and water shortages. Resource scarcity can lead to dire consequences. Cultivate a home garden if possible. Learn water storage and purification techniques and stockpile essential supplies in case of a disaster. The eighth point is biodiversity loss and ecosystem collapse. You must learn how to deal and help 
with efforts and adopt different types of practices to contribute to a biodiversity type of living in the absence of a normal everyday lifestyle. Ninth, the energy crisis. We all know about this. Our reliance on fossil fuels isn't sustainable. Learn to use renewable energy sources and incorporate energy saving habits into your lifestyles so that you can always make sure that you do have what you need for you and your family. Finally, at number 10, space weather events, solar flares, all this different kind of stuff. Rare, but potentially disruptive. It could put down the grid in a matter of minutes. We only get a 30-minute warning per the government. So you need to stay informed and keep up on basic preparedness kit with essentials like an emergency radio, some type of a backup as far as any type of a power supply or something in case of a space weather event. Now there is... Some other scenarios that we probably should just touch on and everybody should just realize that for each of these, the key to preparedness is understanding the potential risk, having a plan and acquiring the necessary supplies and skills. So let's quickly run through the next 10 scenarios. A chemical or industrial accident, earthquakes, a volcano eruptions, antibiotic resistance, Aging infrastructure, personal health crisis, global political instability, technological dependence, resource scarcity, and urbanization and overpopulation in certain areas. Remember this, preparedness is not about fear, but about resilience. It's about being able to adapt and respond efficiently no matter what life throws at us. So until next time, you stay safe, you stay prepared, you keep prepping, and I'll catch all of you on the flip side.